Lots of trouble just about as soon as it rolls off the lot. Harry Smith reports it now is giving some people even bigger trouble before it even gets to the lot. With no disco beat, slick photography, or catchy jingle, it's hard to tell. But trust us, this car is the heartbeat of Romania. Across North America, though, the Romanian heartbeat, known as the Dacia, has caused mostly heartburn and heartbreak. You may remember a CBS News report in which Canadian car buyers discovered that the low-priced Dacia delivered something less than high performance. About halfway home, the whole car just fills up with blue smoke. We shut the key off and the car kept running. Uh, and what are you going to do? you got the key in your hand, the car's still running, it's filling up with smoke, what do you do? And just, I don't know why Susan thought of it, it was just, like, shut the car off by turning off the lights. Now here in the United States, the Dacia is the center of a new controversy. An importer has been selling Dacia dealerships for two years here, but not a single Dacia has been delivered, and would-be U.S. dealers are losing patience and money. In July 31st, they handed us our full dealer package, and uh, we waited every day for the truck to roll in. Mike Carey is afraid he's thrown a quarter of a million dollars and his family savings down the drain on the Dacia. At his lot in Columbia, South Carolina, used Fords and Chevys sit where new Dachas ought to be. Carey was betting the Dacia would be the next Toyota or VW. His payoff? He's on the verge of going out of business. That new car was my ticket to being a new car dealer which is every automobile man's dream. Now Carrie and eight other Dacia dealers dream only of winning a federal lawsuit against the man who sold them their dealerships. We fully intend to deliver the cars. That man is John Trotman, president of Miami-based Roman Motor Corporation. Trotman has a pile of papers from Switzerland which he claims entitles him to import the Dacia. He swears the confusion will be cleared up any day now. The Romanian officials, the Romanian, Romanian ambassador, or the Romanian embassy, no one has, has informed me that my contract is invalid. But the FBI is investigating the operation, which has collected as much as $4 million from would-be Dacia dealers. According to a Romanian economic secretary here in New York City, the real Dacia importer is located in upstate New York. This is the sealed contract by the Romanians. No one is more dismayed by all of this than Romanian-born American Louis Martin, who thought he was the exclusive U.S. importer of Dacia's. Well, I was very disappointed when I heard it first, and I didn't want to believe it, and uh, I still don't believe it. Martin has spent hundreds of thousands of dollars designing improvements for the Dacia to prepare it for the American market. He's made seven trips to Romania and says he's had three meetings with the Prime Minister. And he's determined to start selling Dacia dealerships in the United States this summer. Which is no help at all to dealers like Mike Carey, who is still spending $500 a month on a Yellow Pages ad proclaiming him the country's first Dacia dealer. That's Dacia. Rhymes with gotcha. Harry Smith, CBS News, Columbia, South Carolina. And that's tonight's CBS Evening News. Dan Rather reporting. Thank you for joining us.